Welcome to another episode of Task Mathematics. Today, we're going to evaluate algebraic expressions. Whenever you have to evaluate an algebraic expression, there are only two rules to follow. You're going to replace the variables by their numerical values, and then you're going to evaluate using order of operations, which is please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. But remember, you multiply or divide from left to right, and you add or subtract from left to right. Now, an algebraic expression is when you have variables, such as my x and my y squared, connected by the operations of addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. So here I have x equals negative 2, y equals 3, and z equals negative 1, and I want to evaluate x minus y squared. So my first step is to replace my variables, my x and my y, by their numerical values. Now x has a value of negative 2. y has a value of 3. However, the y must be squared, so your 3 must be squared. So notice I replaced my x and my y by their numerical values. After you've done that, algebra is over. We're now going to apply order of operations. Do we have any parentheses? No. Do we have any exponents? The answer is yes. We have the 3 squared. We're going to evaluate that. 3 squared is 9. So I have negative 2 take away 9. Negative 2 take away 9 is negative 11. And that's our answer. Let's try it again. I have x times y to the third power plus z minus y squared. I'm going to replace my variables by their numerical values. So x has a value of negative 2. y has a value of 3, which is being raised to the third power. I'm going to add z. z has a value of negative 1. And then I'm going to subtract y raised to the second power. And y has a value of 3, which I'm going to raise to the second power. So do we have any parentheses? The answer is no. Now, when I say parentheses, an operation must be going on between two values. So notice here, this is not considered parentheses. This is just negative 2. There's no operation going on. We're not adding anything or subtracting anything. This is just negative 2. Here in the parentheses, this is just 3. This is just negative 1, and this is just 3. So we do not have any parentheses. Do we have exponents? The answer is yes. We have exponents here and here. So 3 to the third is 27. And 3 to the second power, which is 3 times 3, is 9. Just as we did the order of operations, I'm going to rewrite all of the operators that I did not use, and also numbers. Okay, can we multiply or divide from left to right? Yes, we can multiply. So we're going to do this. So negative 2 times 27 will give me negative 54, which I'm going to add to negative 1. And then I'm going to take away my 9. Again, can we add or subtract from left to right? Yes, so going from left to right, I'm going to add negative 54 plus negative 1. That gives me negative 55. And I'm going to subtract that from 9. Negative 55 subtract 9. Here's a little trick. I tell my students, if it looks like the negatives are following each other, this looks like negative 55 being followed by negative 9, I tell my students to add. So if you add 55 with 9, you're going to get 64. 
and then you're going to keep the sign because if negatives are following each other, they're not getting up to anything good. So they're still going to be negative. So your answer is negative 64. Let's try two more examples. So I changed my variables. So here I have A is 2 and B has a value of negative 3. And I want to evaluate A squared B plus AB plus B squared. So again, I'm going to replace my variables by their numerical value. So the A is 2. I have to square it. My B has a value of negative 3 plus A is 2, B is negative 3 plus B is negative 3 and we're raising it to the second power. Do we have any parentheses? No. Do we have any exponents? The answer is yes. Here and here. So we will evaluate. 2 to the second power is 4, and negative 3 to the second power is positive 9. Now, when your base is a negative and the exponent is even, an even exponent, your result will be positive. So now we're going to rewrite all those values and operators we did not use. Can we multiply or divide from left to right? The answer is yes. So I have a multiplication here and a multiplication here. 4 times negative 3 is negative 12 plus 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. And then I'm going to add my 9. Can I add or subtract from left to right? The answer is yes. So I'm going to add negative 12 plus negative 6. Remember when the signs are the same, you're going to add. So 12 plus 6 is 18 and I'm going to keep my sign. So this is negative 18 plus 9. Now I'm adding again. Remember when the signs are different, that's when you subtract and keep the sign of the larger absolute value. So your answer here would be negative 9. Now suppose you're on the test and you can actually use a calculator to evaluate your algebraic expression. All you have to do is as you substitute, you're just going to input this, the one that I'm putting the box around in your calculator. Uh, okay, my pencil is not working. Oh, there it goes. That's what I'm going to input into my calculator. So remember, as I said, whenever you're using the, using the calculator, you're going to input as is. So open parentheses, two, close the parentheses. I'm raising that to the second power. Here's my x squared. Open parentheses, negative three. Close my parentheses, going to add, open my parentheses, 2, close my parentheses, open, negative, 3, close the parentheses, then I'm going to add, open the parentheses, negative 3, close the parentheses, and I need to square that, there's my square. And all I have to do is hit enter and notice I get my answer as negative 9. So all you have to do when you're using a calculator is just replace the variables by their numerical values and then just input that into the calculator. If you want to check that your answer is correct or this is on the calculator section of your task test. I hope this has been a helpful video. Good luck in your task examination.